Hi there. This is the novice level common bishop trap and it's in the advanced variation of the French defence. And it asks the age old question, to what extent am I prepared to compromise my position in order to try and ensnare my opponent? And if he does not take the bait, do I still have a playable position? After e4 and e6, d4, d5, e5 is the French defence advanced variation. Black strikes at white centre with c5 and c3 supports the centre. Knight c6 is met by knight f3 and queen b6 puts a watchful eye on d4 as well as b2. In this position white has several very decent moves. The fashionable a3, the theoretical bishop d3 and the trappy bishop e2. I've got videos on all of these well worth checking out. But how about this move? d takes on c5. White isn't afraid to help black bring his king's bishop into the game with tempo. So what does white gain from this strange capture? Well white has definitely compromised his position and the engines, the chess engines, would definitely score this slightly in black's favour. So what has white done this for? After queen c2 defending the pawn on f2, if black continues naturally with development, with a move like knight g e7, then it becomes clear why white took on c5. In order now to play b4, which is trapping the bishop, and black will have to uh, sacrifice material in order to hold on here. But white will definitely be winning. White um, should not have got anything out of this position as black, should not play knight e7. Black could simply retreat the bishop or even queen c7 with available flight squares for the bishop if b4 was coming. So this trap's been called the common bishop trap and it's in the advanced variation of the French defence. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.